A long time ago, I recorded a video called 16 Ways to Beat Camelettes. If you have not seen that video before, then you should definitely watch that video before watching this video, because this video is a follow-up to that video. In the previous video, I had done, you know, 16 Ways to Beat Camelettes, assuming that was every single way, but that is absolutely not the case. I not only forgot about some upgrades, but I also missed some of the mobile towers, and this update will be getting every single other way to beat Camelettes for all those who kept asking for it. This way I can, you know, you guys can actually shut up about it. So, anyways, this is mainly meant for newbies, so uh, the experienced players may not have to watch, but there's probably a good chance that y'all could learn something cool from it. So let's get started, shall we? First one that I missed is the Monkey Village. Now, we all know that the radar scanner in the Monkey Village uh, will upgrade it uh, so any tower neath, neath can see camo. But what about the lasers on the Monkey Vision? You upgrade to 4 2 right here, you send camo and lead balloons. And hopefully, with enough of those, we'll just get a bunch of lead balloons coming out. And you'll see, once they get into range, they should be easily defeated by the high energy beacon. So, that is one way way to be able to beat all these pes pesky camel leads is using the ability on the monkey ace. That is something I missed before, the ground zero. All you need to do is activate it and bam, all the camel leads on the screen will just disappear. Another ability that is useful against the camel leads is the monkey wizard ability. You just upgrade to zero four and you have the summon, summon phoenix. Yes, I do know that the monkey wizard itself can see camel leads, but here we're just talking about the ability. It can take quite a toll on these camel metal balloons. The next way to beat camel leads here is kind of an odd technicality. See this dartling gun here? In the previous video I told you you can pop camel leads only if you upgrade it twice to the right and get the balloon to depleted balloon-tonium darts upgrade, but you can also pop camel leads without that upgrade, by upgrading it to 4 to the left side and getting the Ray of Doom. Those things will see and pop camel leads, and pretty much everything underneath them too. Like the dartling gun, there's another weird technicality that not many people know about at all. So if you take the sniper monkey here, and put it on strong, because that's what you do with sniper monkeys, you may think you need the full metal jacket to be able to pop up through lead layers, and of course, one, two to be able to pop through camel leads. But what if I told you, you could upgrade to 0-3 semi-automatic rifle, send out camel leads, and it'll pop them just like that. You don't even need the lead popping upgrade. Crazy, huh? So now we're at the point where I covered all the things I missed in the previous video. Now we can get onto the towers that were not in the game when I made the last video, such as the monkey submarine, and of course all the future ones that are on the mobile device. So you can take this monkey submarine here and... Whoops. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Alright guys, now that we're finally on a mobile device, we can use the towers exclusive to mobile to pop camel lead balloons. So first off here we have this heli pilot, and if you upgrade to 3-2, it should be able to beat camel leads. All you guys do is just send these camel leads here, and you have to hover the uh, rotors over the camel lead balloons, because only those can pop the camel leads. The darts themselves cannot, but those will. the rotors will luckily shred the camel leads to pieces, and you can clean up the darts. Afterwards, you can upgrade to Apache Dart Ship to 4-2, and that will just absolutely annihilate any camel lead sends with all the missiles it fires out and of course the rotors itself. The next way to beat camel leads is using the Monkey Engineer here and upgrading it to 3-0 to the cleansing form. The Engineer and the turrets themselves will not pop camel leads balloons, but if the camel leads run over any cleansing foam, they will be decamelized and then be able to be detected by anything else. The cleansing foam also re removes regen. The next way to beat camel leads involves the monkey submarine. All you gotta do is place one here and upgrade to 3-0, submerge and support. And then you take the targeting and put it on submerged. That way, any camel leads that come by will be instantly decamelized and then towers that can detect normal leads should be able to see them. Just like that, they become decamelized. They unfortunately cannot be uh, attacked by it yet, but you can just see this bomb will defeat them pretty easily. However, if you upgrade to Balloon-Tonium Reactor, then the submarine will be able to defeat the camel leads once they come around, and yeah, just like that. The next way to beat camel leads is a little bit odd, but it definitely works really well. 
So what you gotta do is get a monkey submarine and upgrade to 2-3 ballistic missile and then advanced intel. You see at the beginning, if you send camel blood lead balloons, it won't be able to see them, even when it comes into range of the tower. However, if you go over to some other tower that can detect camo, like the Dart Monkey, and upgrade to Enhanced Ice Sights, now the Ballistic Missile will be able to hit camo leads within the Dart Monkey's range. If it's not within a Dart Monkey's range, then it won't see it. The final way to beat camo leads is also somewhat odd, but can work if you're in a dire situation. So this also involves a monkey submarine and you have to take an upgrade to its ability, first strike capability. Now if you send camo leads against it and try to use the ability, it will do absolutely nothing. However, if you decide to send say a BFB and then just a bunch of camo leads on top of it, let's actually slow this down, a bunch of camo leads on top of it, you'll see it. when it shoots the BFB, it will hit all those camo leads nearby it as well, just completely destroying them. Alright, so the last method really wasn't the final one, this is the final one, and it's a little bit janky because you're really not going to be able to get it to work that consistently. So what you gotta do is get the Cobra, upgrade to his ability, misdirection, and misdirect the camel lead balloon to the other side of the screen. It kind of works, except you're spending like $4,000 at least on a single camel lead balloon, and if you're doing that, you have problems and should probably see a doctor, I don't know. But as you can see in the footage here, it doesn't even work, it keeps misdirecting other balloons. But in theory, in theory, it will work. No, for real, this is the final way to defeat Camelots. All you need are a bunch of roads uh, oh, well these suck. God damn, beat these Camelots. Okay, obviously it's not working, but since we're on that topic, the energy boosted road spikes in battle should be able to pop Camelots. So if you happen to have none of these towers that I've mentioned in this video or the past video, you can use the energy bots road spikes to defeat camel leads. And that's all we're, we're gonna have for this video. Please let me know if you enjoyed with a like and hey, even subscribe if it helped you out. Be sure to leave in the comments what is your favorite way to beat camel leads. Uh, you better be telling me some good answers, guys, otherwise you're all fired. So that's about it. Thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next tutorial video.